sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. All right, folks, Pi Guy here. I'm going to show you how we can boot a Raspberry Pi 3 from a USB drive or a solid state drive or an old SATA drive. Now, I have the Raspberry Pi imager up and I'm SSH'd into the Pi and I'm using the latest uh, bullseye. So anyway, what we need to do first is we're going to go ahead and put an image onto the USB. So I already have it here plugged in. So we're going to click on it, select it, and we're going to go ahead and write that. Let that write to the uh, SD card. So while that's doing that, we can switch over to the terminal here and we need to edit the boot config. So we can do that just by running the following command here and we'll click enter. So now that that's done, we are going to reboot the Pi. So we'll let that reboot. We'll switch back over to here and see how this is going. All right, so while that milks around, we're going to get back into the Pi here because we want to verify something. So we are going to SSH back into it. And we're going to run the following command here and see what we get back. All right, so we get back 17 colon 302 and what four zeros and an A, which is good. So we know that works. So now what we can do is power off the Pi, pull the SD card out, and once this is done, we can put this in and see if this works. All right, so now it's verifying it. It's going to finish up here in a matter of a second or we're going to go ahead and put this into the Pi and we'll see what happens. Okay, so I put it in. It just came up with the re rebooting in five seconds to format, I mean, to extend the file system. So let's see what it does here. All right, so now we're back up. We're SSH'd into the new image. And as you can see here, we're dev root, 28 gig, 3 gig used, 24 available. I'll throw a link in the description to my website for the uh, command. Now, one thing to remember, if you decide to use that SD card in another Pi or whatnot, it's going to try to boot from the uh, USB. So you're going to have to remove the... Uh, command the line that we added into the config file which i'll uh, post that on my website how to do that anyway thanks for watching stay tuned for another one